the sad reality is that confidence will get you much further in life than intelligence. I can't tell you how many bosses CEOs and people in high corporate positions I have met that would never hire themselves in terms of intelligence or capabilities. But they're overconfident so much so it's almost fraudulent. And they get far for it. I also have friends who are exceptionally intelligent and hardworking who are still at poverty levels. They think somehow that they will be eventually rewarded for their efforts and their ideas. Sad truth is that they will not. Some confident asshole will simply take advantage of them or outright take credit for their hard work. I believe this is an unpopular opinion because the majority of people I know are in the latter situation, or think that's what they should aspire to be to achieve success. Editor commenter made a good point that my use of confidence is really referring to a big ego. I've added more info about this opinion throughout the comments. Confidence, or a big ego can give you determination that is not present in most people and determination can get a lot done. This can lead to both great and terrible outcomes. Yep it's pretty common that people prefer confidence, moderated aggression, and drive over simply being intelligent. It doesn't actually matter if you know what you are doing or talking about as long as others feel like you're probably right. And if things go right they are an amazing genius. If things go wrong then they are usually smooth enough to deal with blowback or can shift the blame. I believe an important piece of intelligence that isn't measured on IQ tests is an ability to relate to other people and articulate your thoughts in ways that others can understand. I know many intelligent people that can't effectively interact with others. And they often get upset that other, less intelligent people are promoted above them. They fail to realize they don't play nice with others and their personality is their problem. They are doomed to a career that includes them working alone. This will never be a leadership position. I've had a pretty successful career and it has 100 been because of exuding confidence. I'm pretty much an idiot. When I share this with people, I'm always told that it isn't true. I must be smart. Not so. I am an idiot and I know this because I am me. I am 35 and I realize this now. If you are confident, that makes you calm. So you just calmly do decent stuff day by day and most likely end up somewhere pretty good. Intelligence is always predicting possible risks and crippling you with panic. Here's a not unpopular opinion. People overestimate their own intelligence and think that confident assholes are being promoted because of their confidence when in reality those people are just as intelligent as the one complaining. Everyone constantly says confident people ruining companies but even those people don't recognize that every decision comes with risks, and sometimes risks don't pay off. It doesn't mean the person was stupid or that a smarter person would have gotten it correct. And connections will get you even further. Half of my dad's employees are our relatives or friends and they were definitely not the most qualified for the position LMAO, he even admits that himself. Such is life though. The sad reality is a lot of people don't seem to have both. Bet you OP thinks he's a lot smarter than he actually is. Confidence can certainly come with that extra special kind of stupid that's so stupid it doesn't know it's stupid. I remember my professor in college saying that while America has fallen behind other countries in education, that our people are still number one in the confidence by a big margin. With how dumb we are, it's definitely a dangerous mix lol. You don't really have to be that confident, you only need to know how to push a product, and the product is you. Lie, cheat, steal, get ahead, crush the little guy, advance, take over Yugoslavia. Those people who faked it until they made it are still faking it today. Confidence, charm, being able to schmooze the right people and undermine sabotage threats is how to truly get ahead. It's why psychopathy and narcissism are overrepresented in higher positions, and why most people will never get there. Charisma and confidence go hand in hard, and charisma is what people connect to most. Higher level jobs require people skills, or at least the illusion of them. If you're managing people or meeting clients or shareholders, you need them to like you. You can always outsource a skill task and have someone write a PowerPoint for you as long as you're good at presenting it, but it doesn't work the other way around. 
You can't have an underling trusted with doing the big presentations or reacting on the fly, no matter how smart and capable you are. Every high-level exec I had interacted with was genuinely smart, but not the smartest guy in the room smart. But leadership and strategy needs you be just smart enough the rest is other qualities. And it even makes sense if you think about it. Fake it till you make it. Intelligence is about the mind. Confidence is about taking action. Generally speaking, Doig will get you further in life than just thinking. This is the truth. I'm almost 50 years old. Almost all jobs I've held had a loud, obnoxious person at the top. Often, they were also tall. In the few cases when they weren't loud, obnoxious or tall, they were instead sneaky and doing stuff that they shouldn't have been doing. The answer is you need both. Those with just one or the other would have deficiencies that hamper them. Confidence doesn't have to be brash and a quiet confidence actually makes people respond better because they've all met the brash ones, and discovered that for some that was all they they had going for them. Here's an unpopular opinion. If a less intelligent person can outmaneuver you and take advantage of you in life then you're not as intelligent as you think you are. Isn't it obvious? If you walk confidently into failure you're more likely to learn something from that failure. Or, you may succeed. Confidence is one thing though and NGAF is another. But both can lead to similar outcomes. If you don't have confidence, try caring less about what others think while still maintaining professionalism. No different than dating, confidence can win over intelligence or other factors. Emotional intelligence isn't exactly taught or a science, but being confident in your communication definitely gets people to notice you and acknowledge you. It's like the secret, if they have good skills in envisioning their life, being smart doesn't mean you will achieve your goals if you don't own it right. You can only be as confident as people allow you to be. The so popular fake it till you make it attitude will get you in trouble if you are perceived as weak, you'll have to prove yourself sooner or later and will end up humiliated. This is especially true with women, they act like they are hot shit when they are full of insecurities but no one calls their bluff because guys want to bang them, and the rest of the women are not confrontational in a direct way. As a guy you better be able to back your attitude because other men will confront you sooner than later. This is true, and it's exactly why there's been more than one total societal collapse in our past, Bronze Age collapse, fall of Rome, etc etc. Societies become dissident, then everyone follows a confident idiot off of a cliff while laughing at people trying to get everyone to stop. Intelligence or at least relevant credentials gets you the interview, confidence and social aptitude gets you hired. Most big law firms won't consider a person who didn't attend AT14 law school. But once you have the necessary but insufficient qualification yeah, confidence and likability matter. Most likable guy at Wharton is going places. Most likable guy at local CC? Not so much. How is that sad or unpopular? But why is that sad? What use is intelligence if you don't have the confidence or ego to convey it? Well we have the whole countries ruled by these kind of people. I mean, yes? This more of a fact than an opinion. People who are deemed as successful often come from a comfortable background. There might be some correlation here. It is easier to feel confident when you have never had to prove whether you were worthy enough to obtain things which are simply required to live. My partner is watching a show called Inventing Anna. Little shitty con artist manages to manipulate her way to the top of everything and get access to insanely famous and wealthy people. She gets loans, VIP access and treatments, connections help her make connections, etc. The reason almost every single idiot on that show explains how she manipulated them. She was confident and didn't care. Everyone saw that and rolled with it and never asked a question. Till they had to ask questions, then things flip. Stupid people take more risks than intelligent people, some morons succeed, 